Next, we need to write some code that allows our pere, our throw and spear, to destroy the ngangara and to give us one point. That way the player can collect a high score the longer they defend their par. To do that, we're going to the sprites tab. We're going to scroll down and we're looking for the event on sprites of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind player. Left click and drag that into your coding area. Next, we need to make a set of changes to this event. First, we need to change the player to projectile. When our projectile overlaps with the enemy, we need to change this player input here to enemy. Next, we're going to add in some code that stops the ngangara so that it stops in its place and can't keep moving forward. And next, then we're going to destroy it with some kind of special effect and then add one to our score variable. To do that, we're going to go to Sprites tab, set velocity x and y to zero. So we're going to drag and drop that into the event we just added. We're going to set the x and y velocity to zero. And now we're going to replace the object ngangara or whatever's in there. Just left click and drag that into the coding tab where you'll see a highlighted rubbish bin. If we let that go, it'll, it'll get rid of that. And instead, we're going to left click and drag the other sprite input here. If we take that, we can left click and drag it into this empty space. What this means is that when our projectile overlaps with any other sprite that is called enemy, then we set the velocity of that other sprite and only one instance of that sprite that it is overlapping with. And we're going to stop it in its place. Next, we're going to add to the destroy code. To do that, go to sprites. We're looking for effects. And we're going to select this one here, destroy my sprite. Left click, drag. Insert that into our uh, overlap event. We need to once again change the object to other sprite. Left click, drag it into the rubbish. Grab other sprite, drag it in and replace. And if you select the plus icon here, we can add a spray effect. If you left click on there, you can choose a different effect type. It's up to you. And I'm going to change the duration to 100 milliseconds. Finally, we're going to add one to our score. To do that, go to info and drag and drop change score by one. Left click and drag to the bottom of our overlap event.